If you're a shallow water angler, the power pole micro driver and ultralight spike is the ultimate anchoring solution. We've built a molded in recess at the stern of the Passport 12 to accept the mounting bracket for the power pole. I'm gonna show you how to install the entire system and walk through a little bit about how you control the device from the Bluetooth remote. One critical step before being able to mount the PowerPole Micro mounting bracket is that it'll require the installation of an eight inch round hatch in the flat that's molded into the rear cargo deck. A solution that I love is adding the rectangular hatch up in front of the seat in the cockpit and using that round hatch that was there and locating that in the stern so I can have an access point for installing the power pole. I'm gonna match the power pole bracket up to the recess molded into the stern and I'm gonna create some pilot holes for my mounting hardware that's included with your power pole micro. So I'm just gonna create some shallow holes here. And then I'm gonna come back with a 5 sixteenths and drill that out for the mounting bolts. The hardware kit will include the Allen key that matches the head of the bolts. Additionally, you've got backing washers and nylock nuts to complete the installation. These nylock nuts require a half inch wrench for tightening down. And you've got plenty of space inside the hole for these long bolts. We're gonna fit the bolts to the You want to insert the washer over the shaft of the bolt and then start the nylock nuts by just by finger. Now that we've got all these four bolts secured with our power drill most of the way, I'm gonna finish them off by tightening with the included Allen key, just to make sure that I don't over tighten with the drill. That one feels pretty good. You wanna make sure these bolts are nice and snug because the force that anchoring the boat is gonna put on these screws is pretty substantial. One or two more quarter turns here with the Allen key and we're gonna be just finished fastening this up. The micro driver unit comes with these two geared keys that lock the micro driver into place along with this locking nut and the axle pin. So go ahead and fit the driver unit. Insert one of the geared spacers and the axle pin in through the bracket and the micro driver itself. Take the other geared spacer and insert that on the other side.
and this locking nut. Go ahead and thread that on with the brass piece facing out. And when you push this forward, you want it to be snug, not overly tight. And you also want it to face, let's see. You're also gonna wanna orient the clamp facing the stern. That way, if you need to pull the safety release, this lever will pull forward, unlock the micro unit, and allow it to tilt forward. So just to hold it in place, we're gonna leave it like that for now. Now it's time to configure the safety release line and mount the keeper that holds the ball attached to the end of the safety release line. In the event that your anchor gets stuck in the bottom, you'll be able to free the anchor by pulling this cord. That's important because when you're on the water, you may not be able to access the stern of your kayak. So I'm just gonna pull this ball off of this piece that seats the ball. And you can either mount it on the top of the gunnel, but to keep everything clean on the top side, I think I'm gonna mount it just inside, close to where the seat, right about there. I wanna keep the seat in while I'm doing this because I wanna be sure that that's not gonna interfere with my mount. So just to be sure that's gonna clear, thread this screw right into the plastic. It'll have plenty of bite and create a nice seal. And on this part, it's critical not to over thread. It just needs to hold the ball mount onto the hole. I'm gonna run the safety release line actually right through the openings on these pad eyes at the stern. And that'll help keep it clear of the cockpit. I'm gonna go under the bungee. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of slack in it just so it can clear that rod holder there. Again, through the very aft pad eye and leaving just a little tiny bit of slack. And depending on the length of your kayak that you're installing the power pole micro on, you may need to trim some of this line off and melt the end. So I'm gonna tie my knot first, make sure I've got plenty of room to work with here. I've created a simple double overhand knot here and I'm gonna create just a, another overhand knot to keep the, keep the knot from pulling through. Once I've done that, I'm gonna trim, leaving a small tag end and melt the end so it doesn't fray. Take a lighter or a torch and be careful with this step. I'm gonna just melt the end. And don't touch that for just about 30 seconds while it cools down. The Power Pole Micro driver unit will interfere with your rudder stowing fully. So you can either lift it up like that and it'll stay because it's got that bungee there, or you can remove the micro driver unit. And that should allow you to fully stow the rudder. So that manual rudder will flip up like that and it'll actually sit right inside that power pole mounting bracket. The power pole micro comes with a hard wiring kit included. So it's got this power cable and some other components there to allow you to hardwire it, or if you've got an external battery sitting on the deck, you can run this cabling back to the unit to power it. I prefer the lightweight lithium battery pack that snaps right onto the front. 
It's small, it's light, it keeps my deck clean, and it's easy to pull out of the boat and charge. So that's my choice for power. I'll snap the li lightweight lithium battery right onto the front of that, and that takes care of powering the unit. The PowerPole Micro comes with two Bluetooth remote options. One has a lanyard. I like to keep this around my neck or attach it to my seat frame if it's not around my neck. Some people prefer to keep it attached to the seat frame. I like to keep it around my neck and run it right under my life jacket strap and it keeps it close to my body so it doesn't get hung up on stuff. The second option is this fixed mount Bluetooth remote. I like to mount this in an area where it's not gonna interfere with my standing area in the cockpit and where it's easily accessible from the seat. So just under the gear track on the inside of the cockpit is a great place for that on this particular boat. Mounting hardware is included in your PowerPole Micro box with this fixed mount remote. You've also got an adhesive option to attach this to the sidewall of your kayak. Couple quick tips on the Bluetooth remote system with your PowerPole Micro. You can double tap down to automatically deploy the spike with just the push of a button. You can double tap up to bring it all the way up and out of the water when you're moving from point A to point B or you don't feel like you need the spike deployed. There's also some programming instructions included with your PowerPole. So before your first outing, you're gonna wanna take a look at that and make sure you've programmed your PowerPole Micro to the Bluetooth remote. Each PowerPole Micro driver and spike package comes offered by Hobie with the ultralight spike. The great thing about the ultralight spike is that it's strong and light. It also has a nice handle on the top so that it easily doubles as a stakeout pole and that's got a stakeout tether included with the spike itself. The PowerPole Micro system is really the most swift, silent, and secure way to instantaneously anchor your boat to the bottom and get that perfect boat positioning so you can make just the cast you'd like. Thanks for watching. For other full installation videos, check out and subscribe to Hobie's YouTube channel and visit Hobie.com to see our entire line of parts and accessories.